Hello and welcome by the Arcade Saga. So uh, today I think I have a kind of special video to make because this is something I it didn't uh, ever happen before on my channel because I am going to send off plants. Normally they are coming in with quite an amount sometimes, but finally, finally, I, uh, I'm going to send out some, some orchids, which, um, yeah, was about time, I think. Um, so we're going to uh, fill up this box today, and I'm going to send it off to another YouTuber. You may already know him. His name is Inse, Inse Schaap, and he is sort of my uh, YouTube neighbor because he also lives in the Netherlands. Also in uh, Frisia, he lives on this side of Frisia, I live on this side of Frisia. But uh, so he's uh, kind of uh, my neighbor because in the YouTube land we go all over the world of course. So, uh, but he has also uh, got the virus and if you didn't already have, you should uh, definitely take a, uh, take a look at his channel. I will have his, has his link uh, in the video description. Because I think he, uh, yeah, there's basically only one answer. He has his own way of uh, making his videos, growing his orchids, and I really enjoy his uh, his videos and his passion for uh, for his plan. So, uh, so yeah, I, I think it's a nice uh, addition uh, to your uh, list of channels if you uh, didn't have ha had him in there already. Uh, that said and done. So what happened was uh, basically I wanted to send uh, this email months ago to him, but I, I didn't do it, just don't know why. Anyhow, I think about a week ago, I commented on uh, one of his videos asking him for his email address because I had a question. Uh, he did get uh, give me his email address, so I mailed him and I wanted to send him at least two of my plans. I tried them, they do not well in my, uh, my growing area. That's not because of the plants, I think the plants are in a, in a very good condition. Uh, but I cannot keep up with the watering. I cannot grow them in cell watering because uh, we are talking about my two stenhopias. And as you probably know, if they start to flower, the spike will come uh, underneath, uh, out of the pot, out of the plant, basically. Not out of the pot, because uh, then you will have the problem. So I did try them in a glass phase. As you may uh, know, I have a video on it uh, somewhere on my channel. But the glass vases did catch quite some algae, or it did develop quite some algae in a, in a pot, so I didn't like the look of it. Then I thought, well, let's give uh, the hanging baskets a go. And let me, uh, let me grab the camera and we can look at the plants, and maybe it's a little bit obviouser then. So yeah, let's have a look at them, so it's a little bit more obvious where we're uh, talking about, which plants, I should say. But... Um, yeah, we are talking about this Stenhopia and this one. I have two of them, as you may know. And yeah, so I tried the glass faces, strange setup, didn't work very well. Then I tried, tried these baskets, and I do like the look of it. But one, I cannot keep up watering uh, with them. They dry up so quickly. So that's a little bit of a handicap for me. Plus, I did get a, a comment of, from Michael McCarthy about these... Um, this cocoa fiber stuff, which probably is a little bit too compact to, to uh, let uh, a potential flower spike come through. So it was like, I, I really was happy with the comment, don't get me wrong, but I just did repot it and I was like, no, this is not going to work for me, I think. Uh, but I kept growing them on through the summer and I should have emailed a little bit earlier, perhaps. But uh, still, they are, I think, I think in a good condition to send them off. They're working on new growths here. This is a new growth, plus some new roots. Let me zoom in a little bit. There, you can see new roots. And this is a fairly new growth. Well, X, yeah, I think it's this one. And in the back, it has a small growth. So, and as does this one. This is a fairly new growth as well, this one here. So I had the roots when I did repot them last time. So I think we still have the roots. Well, actually, if we zoom in, there, well, let me see. Where is that root? I'm sorry. That white dot there in the middle plus the green part, that's a new root. I hope it does show up in the camera. So yeah, this one is really a rooting. So I think it's perfect time to send them off to insert. 
So those are the two we started with. Then I had a little bit more email contact with him because I wanted to add it as a surprise, but it's such a huge plan that I thought, well, maybe I should ask him if, I, if he doesn't already have it. But as you know, not that long ago, I did repot my uh, Morellianas, uh, uh, Latonia Spectale um, uh, Variety Morelliane Royalty. It's all about the name, I guess. But anyhow, so we did end up with two huge plants and I already did have this one. So once it was one plant and I did g even give two parts away, can you believe it? So this one is growing like crazy. And he would like to add this to the, his collection. So Inse, I hope the bloom will make it. I will cut off the uh, older blooms before I post it, but I hope this one will make it. So we have still a, a little bit of an idea of the blooms. Even though you mentioned that you did have it, so you probably know uh, this may be a little bit of different variety than you have, I'm not sure. But, but as you can see, it was due to a repot anyhow. So yeah, I'm going to take it out and I'm going to send it to you. And you, you have quite a uh, established plant with a strange growing uh, new growth, so good luck with that. <laughs> so that's uh, the second one, well, actually the third one. And I'm going to upload this video but, uh, after he did receive the uh, box of orchids to uh, let it be a surprise. But I'm going to include a few cakes as well. One is this one. This is a cake from my Dendrobium chrysanthemum orange or orange type. Sometimes it's uh, mentioned on the internet. Let me show you the uh, mother plant because it's huge. <laughs> And it's flowering, it's flowering, it's flowering. It is this one with these beautiful orange blooms. And I think you, uh, you might like it. With a beautiful dark red in the middle on the lip there. But and that's the funny part. <laughs> you, this is a fairly long cane, yes. Well, two years ago, well, actually it has another one. You see, this one is uh, blooming as well. This is the first cane of the new season was the first one and then it made a second one that is not as big but this one is huge as you can see beautiful blooms again but this cane I hope you can see it it goes all the way up here that one I did measure that one is about two years ago something like that 220 centimeters so it's a good luck with that <laughs> I found this really funny. Of course, it's a cakey, so you start uh, fairly, fairly small, but it might turn into quite a plant. And if you uh, look it up on the internet, you might find that I, I read an article, article there where they said they needed a winter rest. Well, look at it, it's already making a new growth there. So I don't, I never give this a winter rest. I look at the plant and this plant is obviously telling me it wants to grow it uh, while it's blooming. Uh, on two canes and it's also uh, growing. So yeah, I, I just keep feeding it. I don't feed my orchid much, as you probably know, but uh, no interest for this one. That is something I learned from Roger. Just look at your plants, what, especially with dendrobiums, or basically with every plant. What are they telling you? Well, like I said, this one is obviously one to grow. So if I stop feeding it, stop watering it, that would be silly, wouldn't it be? So, and it does this every single year. So I, that's why I never give this a uh, winter rest. So yeah, this one is kind of funny. I'm going to put it in. If you don't want it, just don't send it back. <laughs> Find somebody else, but I think you like it. I think you like it. And the one that I'm going to send you, as we saw, has, uh, has some buds. So I hope you will uh, have some blooms as well. So one more time that cakey, just to show you the buds. I really hope this one, uh, okay, uh, the, uh, the cakeys, the, this cakey with the buds does make it. They are not easy, no, not, not easy, they are uh, fairly easy to grow, I think. They are uh, rooting quite easily and I think they would like a, a mount as well. I, I'm pretty sure they will. So that's uh, that one. Then I have something I'm not sure you have, but I didn't want to ask because of the surprise, I think. Beautiful, healthy cakey. And I'm going to send you this one as well. This is Dendrobium Anasman. So yeah, if you really have it, I'm sorry, you can give it away. But I, I'm not sure if you have I tried to find it on your channel. I did some research there, but I couldn't, uh, couldn't find it. 
Uh, so I'm going to send you that. And then I have another uh, chrysanthemum orange. So if this one wouldn't make it, I have another one for you if you want, uh, want it. This has some, some wheat in the pot. Well, put it to the side. I'm going to uh, take it out as well. This is a fairly small cake, but I think it, uh, it's healthy enough to make it. I'm go just going to try it. This is Dendrobium, Dendrobium Lodiesii. Again, not sure if you already have it. I have the mother plant, so if the cakes don't make it, I will have probably some new ones. But I think they do. They are not that easy. I think they will... Uh, not that difficult, I'm sorry, to grow, I think. So I'm going to add these three as well. I didn't tell you about it because I think a surprise is nice as well. Then I have a last thing that I'm going to add as well. For now in this uh, box. So yeah, I hope I have the good size box. Not too much room and not too less, of course. But here for this part, we're going to enter the orchid room. I have them laying around here. I hope these are still useful for you. I have, have three mounds, not very big ones, but the wood, as far as I, as, as, far as I can tell, is still very uh, stir, stir, yeah, stir, sturby, very strong. Um, so I'm going to add these guys as well, because you like to grow on mounds. I did use them only for, you see a little bit of moss still here, but uh, about two years ago for maybe two or three months when I just uh, did uh, grow, um, started growing in my uh, greenhouse, I thought I can grow on mounds. But same story with these Stenhopias. I, I just can't keep up with the watering because of my uh, daily work. Sometimes it's just too busy. Uh, so I don't have the time. So therefore they are, we're in the, the garage for over a year. Nothing happened with them. I even have a, uh, uh, a label on them, some hooks. So I'm going to add them. If you cannot use them or you don't want them, please throw them away. But I, I thought, well, I always kept them for you never know. And uh, I think you might, uh, might give these guys a good use. So that's, uh, that's what uh, is going into the box. Now I have some work to do, so I will uh, get everything out of the pot and fill the box up and I will uh, film some, uh, some uh, in-between shots. So I will uh, be uh, right back with the first shot about uh, the, uh, the unboxing. No, not the unboxing, the boxing, the boxing up. How do we call it? <laughs> so I just did get out of the first one, this Miltonia, it's still in the pot, but I did get it out of the outer pot. Well, I think the roots are not the problem, <laughs> like it was on the other ones. These like the root as well. The darker roots are from the fern, so I'm not sure how you, uh, how you think about ferns. I'm going to take them out, but probably there are some spores left. So, uh, and we have an old uh, cane here. I'm going to probably going to cut it off. It isn't soft, so it's just an older cane uh, going away. So that's not the end of the world, I guess, but you can see it's a fairly big plant and we have quite a lot of new growth. Let me take it here. So yeah, this should be nice to, to grow on. As you can see, we have, uh, we have the roots. So this is just an in-between shot. I will take off the, our, the old flower spikes and leave this one. Hopefully it, it stays with you for a few, a few uh, days, maybe a week. But uh, yeah, okay, I need to continue. <laughs> So yeah, I already knew that this one is a little bit, uh, by far actually, uh, the far the the most challenging one to to send you. Uh, I did try to take out some ferns, but there are some leftovers, and I will take these off. So I'm sorry, but I'm not sure if you want the ferns, but I I just have them around, and this is one big mass of roots. Let me lift it, so you can have a look. You probably, uh, if you watch this video, you already had that look, of course. But I'm going to leave it because I can take it off, but I will damage so many roots and it's just about to go on to transport. So I think I'm going to leave it, give it as less stress that I, uh, that I can. 
and then you can choose. You may want to take everything off because you don't grow uh, inorganically. I have no idea. <laughs> I wish you luck figuring it out. But yeah, I think that's the best way to do it. And you can see over here as well a new growth. So probably there are more. I also decided to leave this cane. Once again, it is not mushy here in my uh, in, in this stage. So you probably can take it off. But once again, if I take it off, I, I create a wound. This is not dry when I send it. So yeah, things uh, may get in there if I create a wound. So that's why I'm leaving it on. And um, yeah, for the rest, it's just looking fine. It's a very healthy plant. It grows like wheat in my, uh, my care. Both of them, uh, actually all three of them, but you can see a lot of new growth. So yeah, I'm not sure what you want to do with this, but that's the reason why I leave uh, the media on because of the, the beautiful root system. If you want to mount it, I think you can take it off easily and this will probably adapt fairly quickly to a new setup. They are not, um, not that picky and uh, it's already making a, quite a lot of new roots. So I don't see where you would uh, get any problems doing that. So uh, that's the update on the Moreliana. So yeah, an absolute challenge, you guys. Boxing, uh, trying to get the orchids in a box, boxing them up, wrapping them up. So I did my best, and because I grow self-watering, these plants are obviously are damp. And that's why I use this plastic bag, so that the box will not uh, get too wet. Normally, I know you shouldn't um, transport plants when they are damp. You better can let them dry up. But in this case, they probably will be on transport for one or two days. And I think it doesn't hurt them. Inter will, uh, have, a, will have a look and I, I, uh, I'm pretty sure he knows the deal how with, with mold. But I don't think he will have any mold on them. So a lot of paper, a lot of paper in the back as well. And I really, really hope the new growths are making it. I didn't didn't snap them off or when you try to un, uh, un, uh, unwrap them. I hope everything will go right. The uh, mounts are here for support so it doesn't start to move. And I will have the Stenhopius here. And I have the first one out of the pot. And I literally watered them yesterday, but they are dry again. So yeah, something is not going well, but new root tips. New root tips. So yeah, beautiful uh, time to do uh, to send them to you. And I really, uh, I will try my best to keep all the roots on there. I think these are viable, but this, yeah, they are drier than I thought. And I just watered it yesterday. Anyhow, this is the first one. It's this Stenhopia, Stenhopia nigroviolacea. So that's the first one. So this is the second Stenhopia. This is, this is the tag that goes with it. Yenishishiana. Good luck with the name. <laughs> but this one had a very long root. At least one root get, uh, did go very deep in the pot. I just slowly lifted it and that's worked uh, pretty fine. And this one luckily has new roots on the go as well. I'm so happy. Because, yeah, we even have a new root tip there. Because I don't want to send plants off that do not well. Even though, as you can see, it suffered in my care. I will take this leaf off as well. But yeah, I really, really hope and I really think they will do so much better in your care. So, uh, this is the second uh, Stenhopia. So, a quick update on the box again. It's getting a filled up more and more. We now have the two Stenhopias in as well. I tried to uh, put in every gap, uh, uh, air gap some paper. So I think they are pretty secure. And I just can only hope that they keep this side of the box upward. So I will uh, draw some arrows on the side. Because yeah, if it going, is it going to be upside down? I don't know if this one is... Uh, yeah, they will make it, but because of the new growth. Anyhow, we will uh, try our best. So let's uh, get the uh, keikis. So yeah, this is the first one of the dendrobium. This is the uh, chrysanthemum with the buds on, luckily, still, because I really had to uh, cut the roots out of the pot, at least uh, the big roots. But I think I did succeed. It's this one. 
and it branches well, but we still have the growing uh, tips. Well, here is the growing tip. And this one is also, uh, also very dry. It's just drunk a little bit more than I thought, but it's in, uh, in a good shape. And I think if you decide to mount it, it should be fine, I think. So then we have the last two keikis. The first one is the uh, Logesii. And it's that very small one, but as you can see, it has a fairly amount of roots. And I have, see over there, just on there, a uh, growing tip as well. So I think it should be fine. And then we have the Dendrobium anosmen. And this one has a beautiful root system already. So, and it's the slightly bigger, as we can see. <laughs> but yeah, beautiful root system. Also growing tips, so uh, this one should uh, adapt to a new system fairly easily as well, I believe. So I'm going to pot them up and then we have everything, I think, for the box. So, I put everything in. I have the Nandrobium keikis over here, the little one in the corner. I just lifted the box and it's not as heavy as I thought, because we started with a fairly heavy plant. So I think uh, that's... Uh, Beautiful for shipping. It's not too heavy because yeah, the box is the box is strong, but I don't want to overdo it, of course. Um, yeah, so this is the last look from uh, out of my grow room into the box. Thank you for watching, Insa. Of course, uh, I wish you the best of luck growing these orchids. I really hope you enjoy them, and we obviously have a talk about it. I, I think, but uh, so far, thank you for taking good care of them. I'm really happy, especially for the Stenhopias, that, uh, that they uh, get a new, uh, new home. And the rest is just a, a little bonus, a little extra, and I hope you enjoy them as well. Thank you for watching, all of you, and I really hope to see you at one of my next uh, videos. Bye-bye!